Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to write main body paragraphs for a Task 2 essay. In the video, you'll learn the three part structure to use, three common mistakes to avoid, and how to write great main body paragraphs. Main body paragraphs are also known as supporting paragraphs because the information they contain supports or backs up the statements you've made in the introduction to your essay. If you haven't already watched my video on how to write a good introduction to a task to essay, you'll find it on my YouTube channel and website www.ieltsjackie.com. I put links in the notes below this video. We'll start with a quick reminder of the ideal structure for a task to essay. It should be made up of four paragraphs. The introduction, main body paragraph one, main body paragraph two, and the conclusion. It's the main body paragraphs that we're concerned with today. There are lots of easy to remember structures that will help you to write high scoring essays. An important part of your preparation for the exam is to learn these structures so that they come quickly to mind in the test. For the two main body paragraphs, the structure has three parts, a topic sentence, an explanation and an example. If you can't think of an example, you can add a further explanation instead, but be aware that examiners do love examples. I'll talk more about examples in a minute. We're going to be working on the question we started to answer in the lesson on how to write an introduction to a task to essay. Here's the question again. Some young people are leaving the countryside to live in cities and towns, leaving only old people in the countryside. Do you think this is a positive or a negative development? And this is the introduction we wrote. The migration of the younger generation to urban areas is leaving many rural locations populated predominantly by the elderly. This essay argues that the loss of young people from the rural landscape has problematic consequences. The two most serious are the depletion of the rural workforce and the loss of local education facilities. The final sentence of this carefully structured introduction is called the outline statement. I've underlined it. It outlines the two main points that will be covered in the rest of the essay. These two ideas will become the two main body paragraphs. So, main body paragraph one will be about the depletion of the rural workforce, and main body paragraph two will be about the loss of local education facilities. Before we move on to writing these two main body paragraphs, you need to be aware of three common errors that students make. Knowing these will help you to avoid making them yourself. One, having too many ideas. Two, having undeveloped ideas. And three, not including explanations or examples. You only have to write around 250 to 300 words for your task two essay. If you have too many ideas, you won't have time to develop each of them fully. You'll lose marks for this, and there will certainly be no extra marks for including lots of different ideas. All you need is one or two ideas for each paragraph and to develop them fully. So how do you fully develop your ideas? You simply explain what you mean and support it with good examples. I'll now show you how to do this. We're now ready to start work on our main body paragraphs. Here's a reminder of the three part structure I gave you earlier. You need a topic sentence, explanation sentences and an example. The overriding objective when writing a task two essay is to give the examiner what they want to see, of course. A happy examiner means high marks. Your essay must firstly answer the question and secondly be structured in such a way that the ideas flow logically from one to another. Achieving this will gain you a high score for task achievement and cohesion and coherence. The topic sentence plays an important role here. It states the main idea, acting as a signpost for what's to come next, that is, what the paragraph will be about. 
That's all it needs to do, so it doesn't need to be complicated. Let's look at our question again and the topic we identified as the main idea for the first main body paragraph. So, main body paragraph 1 is going to be about the depletion of the rural workforce. You'll already have your ideas ready from when you planned your essay. Now you need to form them into a sentence. If you haven't yet studied the lesson on how to plan a task 2 essay, follow the link below this video to find it on the website along with a video. Here's one way we could write the topic sentence for main body paragraph 1. When 18 to 13 year olds move to towns and cities in search of new opportunities, they leave behind an ageing population to do all the work. The idea of a rural workforce being depleted is expressed clearly in simple language. This is all that's required. Now for the second paragraph. Here's an example of how we could write the topic sentence for main body paragraph 2. In many rural areas, there is no longer a village school for the local children to attend. Again, the main idea, which is the loss of local education facilities, is stated clearly and simply. In the exam, you'll fully complete the first main body paragraph before moving on to the second. I've created both topic sentences together just for illustration. These ideas now need to be developed with an explanation and ideally an example as well. We'll start by developing the idea in topic sentence one. This is one way you could do it. Most employment in the countryside involves manual labour. This can be difficult for older people to manage as it's far more suited to fit and healthy young adults. A government survey carried out over the past decade reveals that the number of family farms being sold off to developers is increasing year by year. The main reason given for this is that the parents can no longer manage to do all the hard work themselves and their sons and daughters have moved to urban areas to seek new opportunities. Here we have two sentences giving more details on the idea and two sentences setting out an example. Examples can come from many sources including personal experience, news reports and article or academic studies you've read. Don't worry if you can't think of a real example. It's fine to make one up, as this one is, as long as it's believable. If you really can't think of an example, Add another piece of information to support your idea instead. Pause the video and spend some time studying this paragraph. Look carefully at its structure and how the main idea has been developed. Next we need to develop topic sentence 2 about the negative effect on village schools. With fewer young families living on the farms and in the villages, there are not enough kids to keep the local primary schools open. This is a big loss to rural communities as it means that children still living in the countryside often have to travel a long way to school each day. In the region of Devon where I live, every village had its own school just 40 years ago. Now only a handful of them still exist. Most have been converted into houses or holiday cottages. Again, we have a couple of sentences containing extra information to support the main idea and an example, which in this case is true. Pause the video again and study this paragraph. So, let's bring our two main body paragraphs together. I won't read through them again, but stop the video if you want to do so yourself and spend more time analysing them. Note that I've added the word furthermore to the beginning of the second paragraph as a cohesive device to link the two ideas together. As you can see, you don't have time to include many ideas in your task 2 essay. If you follow the advice in this lesson and use the suggested structure, you'll be able to create two excellent main body paragraphs. Well, with the introduction and body paragraphs complete, we just need to add a conclusion and our essay is finished. 
You can find a link to my lesson on task 2 conclusions in the notes below. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video soon. Bye for now.